One. What's up, guys? <laughs> hey, it's Power Bodies after all, so we might as well just do some Power Body kind of stuff. So, okay, so it's not as hot here as it usually is. So, fall is going to be uh, just around is actually just around the corner. So, um, even better reason for you guys to get outside and try this workout because that's what's really cool. All you need is the mat, somewhere soft, so you don't scrape your knees on the concrete, and it's just a perfect time. Makes it even more fun and then people are going to wonder what the heck is she doing over there and you can tell them it's power bodies <laughs> okay your first workout is going to be a 10 minute workout we'll get down to it uh, you've got three moves 12 rounds it's 10 seconds off and 40 seconds on so let me come over to my mat the first one you're going to do is going to do a touchdown jump uh, touchdown squat with um, a cross jack so you're just going to start standing regularly so when your timer goes off you're going to jump down feet out wide you're going to try to touch down. You can touch both hands if you want to. And you're going to really power out of this and do a cross jack. Just like this. So this is how it's going to flow. You want to drop your bum. Try to touch. Back is flat. Look, my hips are back and down. I'm touching. I'm going to power out of this position to do my cross jack. Cross. I'm going to really reach with my arms so I can get my heart rate up as high as possible. All right. If you want to modify this. Oh wait, let me say this first. If you can't touch down, this this is not acceptable. I'm not looking for tilting over at the waist. You don't tilt at your waist, you just drop. Okay? If you can't touch, can't get down that far, it's all right. Just maybe you're only this far. And here, maybe you're just this. And here, you'll get down lower. You'll get that flexibility, more strength, more power to get down all the way. Okay. If you want to modify it, you're just gonna, again, go down as far as you can. If you do not want to jump, you're just gonna step. Squat, step. Again, with purpose, cross his legs, raise his arms. Squat, cross his legs, raise the arms. Okay, your second one, this is a scorpion. Thank you very much for this move from um, our Parabyte's training that we had uh, this past Saturday on September 8th. So this move was shown to me by Amy Meyer. So this one's for you, Amy. All right, you're gonna come down the mat. Your hands are, you're in basic plank position. So shoulder blades are down, wrists, elbows, shoulders are all lined up. Right foot crosses left, release right arm, touch left foot with your right hand, plank, left over right, release the left hand, touch. So look, I'm facing the sky, touch, plank, cross, touch. You want to get a flow, you want to keep your butt down, touch. Touch. Let me tell you, on the, on the grass, it's a little bit more difficult. It's great, though. Touch. I'm just doing it kind of slow. So you guys can just cross, release, so your, your face in the sky, touch. Kick that foot up. Use your abs. Plank. Now, we need to make this a little bit less difficult. If you're not comfortable releasing one hand, an opposite leg, what you can do is from plank, just cross, just release a hand. Kind of push your hips up a little bit. Center. Cross like that, okay? Um, from there, if that's too much, you could just maybe just come to here. Maybe you're just crossing and just releasing to the side. Maybe you can't go all the way up to the center. Okay, so those are your modifications there. Okay, and again, just flow with that movement. Flow with that movement. Okay, third one is your exploding star. No press burpee. So, you're not going to do a push-up, but you're going to do a burpee. You're going to start low. Feet are hip-width apart, maybe a little closer. Touch down. Explode. Hands down. Kick to plank. Back in. Touch. Explode. Hands down. Kick back to plank. Power in. Get that little touch if you can. Explode. It's like a cheerleading mood. Hand, move. Hands down. Just kick to plank. Full plank. Not this. All the way to plank. Power in. Explode. All right, we gotta modify this sucker. <laughs> okay, I know you guys are looking at it going, really? <laughs> okay, it's not a big deal. Start standing here. What are you gonna do? It, it's sort of like that first one. If you can't get down all the way, that's okay. Just go wherever you can. The idea is that your back is flat. You're pushing your butt back. Like you're shutting the back door. All right, just stick that butt back because we gotta use that as much as possible for this high intensity interval training to get your heart rates up. 
Just drop wherever you can. Okay, shoulder blades are down. You can explode out of that the same explosion if you want, or you could just jump up. You could go from here and jump, okay? Or you can just make it a little one. <laughs> or if you want, you can even make it a jack, okay? If you don't want any jump at all, you're gonna squat, step side, center. Next move then, that, so that's your ultimate modification there without without your feet leaving the ground. You're gonna bring your hands down. You're gonna step or kick, it's up to you. However you wanna modify this, or if you wanted to do the kick, do the kick. Just to plank, right back in. We're gonna go again, hands down. Kick back to plank. You gotta kick back to full plank. Take your step, it's gotta be full plank. It cannot be this. It has to be full plank. Okay, your abs need to catch it there, okay? All right, that is your first 10 minute workout. We're gonna move on to an eight minute. 12 rounds, three moves, 10 seconds off, 30 seconds on. Sounds easier. <laughs> All right, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna do rotating heel kick ups, and then you're gonna drop down the plank. You're gonna actually, you're gonna drop down the plank and you're gonna come back, power back up. So, looks like this. You're gonna start, just turn sideways from your mat. Your heels are gonna kick up as you turn. So it's kick and turn, turn, turn. Arms stay close. You're going to use them a little bit to swivel yourself. Turn. All right, that's your turn. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to do four of those. Okay? So it's one, two, three, four. Hands down, plank. Power in. Go again. Okay? Look one more time. Watch. One. My heels are kicking up as high as I can. Try to my bum. Three. if you don't want to rotate, all right? If you're not going to rotate, you're going to need to do four high knees, okay? So trust me, you want to rotate, <laughs> all right? If you're not going to rotate, you're going to do this. It's not as high of a high knee as normal because I'm asking you to still kick your heels up. So from the side, it looks like this, okay? A normal high knee is that. I'm asking for this. See that difference? Put your hands here where you almost hit your hands with your knees, okay? You can do four of those facing. Okay, if you don't want the rotation, again, if that makes you a little bit dizzy. If you don't want to do those, you're going to squat and jump. Squat and jump. All right, if that's too much, you squat and jump. If that's, you need to take it down even lower. You're going to squat elbows to knees, raising up on toes. Elbows to knees, raise up on toes. You still come down. You step or jump. You come back in, step or jump. And we go again. Okay? All right, number two, skaters. It's just skaters. You're gonna go the length of your mat. So to start, I'm gonna start on the left. You start back here in like a little, like a curtsy, okay? This leg you're bending is the leg that the weight goes in. You're gonna push off with that leg, that, this leg you bend in. So when you jump, you're gonna raise your arms. So you're gonna reach and you drop down to that little curtsy again. If you wanna try to touch the ground, great. That's not a big deal though, because that's pretty advanced. I don't want you rounding over. So it's reach and down. Reach, down, reach, down. Look, you've got to get down into this front leg. Reach, down, reach, down. This is going to really jack your heart rate up. Want to modify it? Look, just step. Squat and lunge. Get that lunge. Step, reach, and lunge. That back leg is for your balance. Much majority of your weight, like 90% of your weight's got to go on that, this bent leg. Okay, let me tell you, that one really kicks your butt. Or your third one, I'm going to bring you down. <laughs> Two side to side mountain climbers, opposite hand to opposite foot while you're in play. Bring it down. Wrist elbow shoulders lined up. It's one plank, two plank, foot. And touch opposite hand, opposite foot. Really with purpose, bring that leg in to touch that hand. So here we go again. Wrist elbow shoulders lined up, fingers away, hands flat. One, two, one, two, one. Two. I'm kicking back to full plank. One, two. One more time. One, two, one, two. All right, let's modify it. So from plank, if you're able to do full plank, you can just step. Use your abs. Step back to full plank. 
And if you don't, if you're not comfortable touching like, or releasing opposite hand, opposite foot, just knee, opposite knee, opposite elbow, knee. Or if you have to come to your knees for plank, you're going to bring your knees out to the side instead, okay? So you're going to step, step, and then either knee across or from the knees, knees to the side. Okay? All right, that is the last one for that. So I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to start the new video over, a next, a second video then, and go over the last two things you're going to do.